Greetings everyone. This evening I have something some questions to ask this so-called Southeast and the Southwest. I mean South South as they label them. There is something that is happening every year, and it, the way I am looking at it, it has become culture, or they are trying to make it as culture in that contraption that you people are trying to protect. Do you people notice that every year there must be an increase of fuel during December time? I mean, the, during Christmas, there must be an increase of fuel. And also, at the same time, there must be a fuel scarcity. And nobody is talking. And no pastor, no uh, Christian leaders are doing something about it. Are you people notice that? Meanwhile, during Salah time, there will be a reduction of fuel and there must not be a fuel scarcity. Do you people notice this thing? Do you know why? Because the so-called Christian leaders, in fact, Christians don't have any leaders. This is, these are the reasons why you see that many people are running away from the Christianity. Because they don't have who, will be, who can speak for them. They don't have a, a, a voice for the voiceless. This is the problem we are facing today. Now, where is the Adolf Hitler of River State who said that his state belonged to Christian? Where is the, uh, the, the so-called Nwike? He is nowhere to be found now after being embarrassed like a fool that he is by the so-called uh, federal government. I haven't seen him declare war against the federal government after neglecting them. Now, do you people notice that they discovered gold in the north? And they have started mining that gold. And the last one they mined, they sold it to CBN for five point something billion naira. Ask yourself, what did they use the money to do? Who is the person that bought that gold? And where do they get the money for? And what are they you going to use that gold for? Nobody is asking. Who is CBN serving? Is CBN a private company or private personal business or Nigerian company or Nigerian bank? Who is CBN? Now, let me come back to the so-called uh, Niger Delta. Now that the, there is a uh, gold in the north and they turn it to a northern gold, have you asked yourself, why is it that the oil in your land, can the same CBN cannot come and buy it for the amount you people fix it so that you people can use the money to develop your places? Instead, they tell you that the oil in your land is... It's a, it's, a, it's a national resources. And uh, some even tell you that the oil belongs to the north, not even the so-called Niger Delta. Do you see it? And your leaders and the, the so-called uh, elite professors of nonsense, they keep quiet. None of them can speak up. None of them can talk. Adolf Hitler of River State cannot say anything. He become dumbfounded overnight. You see it? Now, you cannot go to the north and mine that gold for it to be used in national uh, budget. Rather, they will use it as a private, the state will use it. Then sell it and use it to rebuild their state. Meanwhile, the oil in your state is being, sorry, is being used to develop the north and your state remain poor. Then the next four years, they will come and campaign for you. You will come out and vote. Exactly what is going on now. Every December, you see that there must be an increase in fuel. Irrespective of the kind of hardship they found themselves. Irrespective of how condition, the most, one of the most con worst conditions they found themselves, there must be a uh, fuel increase. And also scarcity of it. You will hold your money. You cannot see to buy and nobody is talking 
You see the reason why even if they give you the presidency, they bring it to the east, to the south, you cannot do anything because you cannot stand and speak. You don't have a light. The Christianity, you are about to celebrate Christmas, Christmas instead of the pastors and everybody to stand so that there will be no full scarcity. All those that are willing to travel back to village they, so that they can travel even if they don't have money, they can afford the transport. Because the moment there is an increase in fuel, there will be also increase in transport fares. They are using it to punish you because you people don't understand the game. You people don't understand what is happening. The game the Northerners are playing, you don't understand it. Let me tell you people, the so-called South South leaders, before you can realize what is going on, before you can notice what the game these people are playing, they will finish you people to the extent that you cannot even know where to that is they will make you people useless like shit the earlier you people act now is better for you people then divide you and tell you people that you are not evil i don't want to call you people evil you don't you are they tell you people that you people are not biafra so be it but now, why can't you people restructure yourself and take the what belongs to you? They are paying you 9% out of 100%. Ask yourself, the 91%, where is it going? Have you asked yourself this question? No. Ask yourself, the 91% of what is coming out from your land, where are they going? You don't have roads, you don't have water, you don't have uh, hospitals, you don't have uh, schools. You don't have anything. Not even good, uh, 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 good uh, air to breathe in. You don't have a good natural uh, ventilations. It's a pity. The divide and rule the northerners are using on you people before you can know that they are deceiving you people. They will rule your your life. None of you can stand up. The same way they are using this is the same way they are killing your soldiers in the military. The same way they are killing your, your, all the policemen that come from your side. A word is enough for the, the wise. The moment you people start thinking like human beings, it's better for you people. I don't have much to say, but I just want to ask this question. Why is it that every December there will be increase in fuel during christmas meanwhile during salad there will be not be increase in fuel and there will not be fuel scarcity meanwhile during christmas there is a fuel scarcity and the increase in fuel pump ask yourself because slaves don't have right in master's house south east south south leaders are slaves to the north including the southwest all of you are slaves pass this video let it go viral thank you i remember my humble self Mazi achebepo share the video and don't forget to sign to subscribe to biafra unit tv that is my youtube channel thank you and remain blessed one love biafra is your last hope no biafra no peace nigeria economy is in recession Nothing will bring it out. North are tightening their places. The southeast, south, south are being foolish. They are using their resources to develop other regions. And you want to get 2023 uh, presidency. You are in 2020. You are thinking of 2023. You are not thinking of now. That's why you are. You cannot speak. Nobody will vote for you. All here, Biafra. I thank every one of you. Remember, bless and share the video. Thank you.